Sleepy Total War here, and welcome to the very first video on my channel ever. Um, it is February 22nd, 2025. I have a little bit of a cold right now, so if I sound off or sick, that is why. So bear with me, please, as I try to help you guys out in getting your Stainless Steel 6.4 or Stainless Steel Historical Accuracy projects to simply work. We're going to start with where you can get these mods from in the most up-to-date versions, to my knowledge is going to be the mod db link for 6.4 total war center is down right now so i may retroactively update this in the future but to my knowledge this is the bug fix 1.27 compilation and the latest build of stainless steel 6.4 and where you can get it at if i'm wrong let me know in the comments um but this is where i'm pretty sure you can get it from until total war center is back online and then as for stainless steel historical accuracy project if you're interested in this or you don't know about it i suggest looking it up i think it's really fun i have like a 180 turn serbian campaign right now i'm having a blast on it it's really really hard um and it kind of limits how much conquest and expansion you can do which is like you know the name of the game when it comes to playing total war is just conquer exterminate you know reap the benefits of conquering and exterminating and never really focusing on the more um governatorial aspects of uh an rts like total war which is unfortunately understated and then uh we'll talk about the kingdom's exe fix for getting these mods to work issues when you load the, the games with your resolution opening incorrectly kingdom's exe not showing up actually i just said that and then large address aware and the ctd crashes and how to prevent that and things you could do to mitigate that based on how old your computer is um so for now we're going to start with uh, navigating to our main medieval 2 total war commons folder i will include this down in the description of the video if you want to simply copy and paste it up here it should bring you here um boom and then uh, you'll be there. And then if you want to just know the path, it's programs, uh, files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, medieval to total war. So independent of what mod you're installing, I don't believe that stainless steel historical accuracy project needs stainless steel 6.3 and 6.4 for it to run. I could be wrong, but to my understanding, it is built over kingdoms and then built over stainless steel. So it is independent of itself. But if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. I'm not always right. So you'll get these mods from here if you don't have them already or if you're unsure if you have the most up-to-date version. Install it and then please install it into your mods folder in Medieval Total, uh, Medieval 2 Total War Commons folder. Don't install it on your desktop. Don't install it in the Commons folder. Simply please install it into your mods folder. This is where these things belong don't try opening the launchers from your desktop just for posterity keep everything localized to these folders it saves you a lot of heartache and a lot of trouble because something simply is just pasted into the wrong place or you moved a subfolder out of a mod and it broke it it just just keep it all here keep it localized and just it'll mitigate your frustrations so uh, we'll start with the kingdoms.exe fix say you get stainless steel 6.3 6.4 installed um, and it doesn't launch. It says kingdoms.exe can't be found. So two things is happening here. The mod is in the wrong folder, or you don't have the kingdoms.exe application inside of the Medieval 2 uh, commons folder fair period. And the way you do that is you simply just copy and paste medieval2.exe or medieval.exe, whatever it's called, and you simply repaste it into the folder and rename it to kingdoms.exe. Any mod that's built over the Kingdoms expansion is going to look for this. So for future reference, just keep this here, leave it there, and uh, don't move it anywhere else to try to launch the mods from anywhere else. Because I'm pretty sure if I try to launch Stainless Steel from my desktop... Oh, it works. Okay. Nice. Well, that's good. Oh, no. That... See? It doesn't work. It just... It launches vanilla Total War. So, again, that's what happens when you try to launch it from your desktop it doesn't know where to look for the king zxc i was i was getting my hopes up there i was playing around the other day to see if i could launch it from my desktop maybe there's something i'm missing that you guys would know and how i could do that but for now uh kingdoms.exe in your main commons folder uh it should load stainless steel and then please load the mod out of your mod folder and it's that simple your kingdom zxe issue should be fixed hopefully um if they're not Review, review, review until you come up with uh, why they're missing, whether it's not in the right mods folder or in the wrong subfolder, or you simply just misspelled this. 
so Kingdom CXC not showing up. Now we're going to talk about uh, preference CFG and is issues with the resolution when you first launch these mods, and which is a big thing because it's going to come here and it's going to read your battle campaign resolution from this file. This file, by the way, again, it's in your comments folder. It's right here. It should be there. If it's not, I would suggest maybe uh, rebuilding it. Uh, just from the things you see in this video or maybe just reinstalling the game, but this should definitely be in there and uh, How we're gonna how we're gonna fix some things with your resolution not showing up correctly We're gonna go scroll down to video and we're gonna make battle resolution 1920 by 1080 and campaign resolution 1920 by 1080 this will fix any issues with the campaign map uh, or the overall application showing up smaller if you want it to like show up on widescreen, so you have like an ultra widescreen curved monitor or something down here, widescreen equals zero can be turned to one or you can simply change it in game. But to future proof what mod uh, settings you have when you open any mod, this is how you future proof it to where it never changes. And from here, I'm also gonna give you guys a nice little tip because this helps mitigate CTD crashes from alt tabbing. Uh, this will be in the description as well, windowed equal true borderless underscore window equal true you can now move your mouse off of the uh off of the game client without you needing to alt tab and that's very helpful and then again widescreen equals one if you have a very big widescreen monitor i don't think you need to change anything else in here besides this if you're running into these issues um yeah so on and so forth this is uh this is where you can fix this and then after that, I'm not going to save it, but you save it, you save it. Please save this and then open up properties on that text file and select read only, apply, hit okay. This now future proofs any changes you may make within a localized mod settings. It won't change the overall preference CFG for all of your mods. They're all going to, uh, to reference this to my understanding. So now the game should load the game should load at 1920 by 1080 or whatever your native resolution is and the game should work and from here we're going to talk about ctd crashes and issues with mod builds in general and the ways you can mitigate um, issues with the mods crashing inside of the games like fortress battles or field battles and stuff like that which is just too common with these mods and the main fix for that is large address aware if you don't know what large address aware is, a brief synopsis of it is, to my understanding, is this turns on a binary one and zero uh, inside of Windows for this application, and it allows it to access more RAM or more memory. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. Uh, just from some medial Google searches and looking around, that's like the synopsis I came to. And you can, uh, you can get this from Stainless Steel Historical Accuracy Project or another link down in the description, I promise. It's not a virus. <laughs> um, and this fixed like all of the issues with like fortress battles and, and field map crashes or, or field battle crashes. So how we use this and how we get it is, we can go to mods once we have Stainless Steel Historical Accuracy Project installed, we can copy and paste it and then simply paste it into our comments folder. From here, we're going to use large address aware and we're going to select Kingdoms EXE and Medieval 2 EXE uh, back to back. So you'll do them one at a time. Click the box and then save it. This is now turned on for Kingdoms and then you're gonna do it for large address aware. That way, anytime a mod references these things, they launch with large address aware turned on for both of them, whether they're built over the regular vanilla campaign or they're built over the King Kingdoms expansion that will be turned on for both of them. You can try turning it on for stainless steel and the historical accuracy project. I don't think you need to. I think the way these load is based off this, but you are more than welcome to try it. I haven't. And ever since I've used large address aware from the very first time, I have like a 180 turn Serbian campaign on uh, stainless steel historical accuracy project. And the only crashes I've experienced are fortress battles. And I've been able to fix those by simply saving over the file and reloading it and remapping a couple of times. And then it eventually works. So yeah, I think uh, from there, man, I don't know if there's anything else that really needs to be talked about. If you're having more issues, depending on like what your hardware is, 
you could always try running these mods um, in the properties of their mod folders in compatibility mode to Windows 7 and 8 if you're on an old operating system. You can try running them always as an administrator. I usually have this ticked on. I don't know why I have it turned off. Maybe just ever since I fixed all the issues, I might have turned it off in passing, but yeah. And then the very last thing I want to talk about is mainly to do with stainless steel 6.4, but the settings extend to vanilla and any of the other mods you're using. Man, you got to be honest about the hardware of your computer. I know it's 2025. If you're playing on a way older computer, you should familiarize what your specifications are with this. This thing can run on an actual potato. But be that as it may, if you play video games on a super potato, you might, you're maybe going to have some issues with the game actually still performing. But as far as I know, I'm on my most up-to-date hardware I can have, 40 series card, an i9, um, so on and so forth. I have everything on high, and the game does not crash for me. Um, try experimenting with this based on your, your hardware specifications and turning it up or down depending on uh, what you have in your computer. And that's in video settings. And then game settings, you can change the scale of units on the map. Um, you can try minimal UI as well, but change this to small or normal if nothing else is working for you. Like you've tried my CTD fixes uh, with large addressware and everything else. You may simply just have to turn things down in the game because of your hardware specs. Um, or maybe you have some sort of Windows registry issue or some something I can't fully explain without, you know, like, you know. A clean Windows install is all I'm getting at there can go a long way uh, sometimes because Windows just tends to work, work worse as time goes on from what I have seen. But you tend to take a performance hit the longer you are using the same... Um, God, I can't talk today. I think you tend to take a performance hit the longer you have gone without a Windows refresh. Now, that could just be a feeling-based thing for me, but I usually refresh my Windows at least once a year and I reinstall it. So yeah, um, past that, the last thing is I wanted to go over in the bug fix compilation of Stainless Steel 6.4, there is also a campaign crash fix. You simply open it, pick a campaign, and turn on G5 Emergency Battle CTD Fix. This is a game changer for Stainless Steel 6.4, and it helps a ton, man. Uh, when I was playing just Stainless Steel campaigns before I was trying the Historical Accuracy Project, this fixed like any of the last like one out of 10 crashes where you know my save was becoming corrupted and, and so on and so forth. Um, man, I'm not sure if I mentioned it either, but turning off auto saving is a good help as well. I don't know if I mentioned it when I was going through the preference folder, but let me turn this off. Turning off auto saving, uh, where is it at? Right here. I have auto saving turned off. I save with Control S every turn uh, to quick save. Turning off auto saving can help fix crashes as well. And then once you have like all of these things conglomerated like and turned on and respectively fix you can kind of discern what you think is going to fix your issue and like you can turn things off and change them but i would just start with doing all of these things and then seeing what works for you and going from there but yeah um other than that hopefully this video helps you guys leave a like and a comment if you have any suggestions i think at some point i'll end up doing an updated version of this and uh we'll just do like the ultimate crash fix for stainless steel 6.4 number two and I'm, I'm willing to take feedback from you guys in the comments uh if someone also has a link to the newest discord uh for the modding community for total war 2 please send that in the comments as well i'd appreciate it i'd love to rejoin it but yeah hopefully this helps you guys run this game enjoy this game and uh thanks for watching i appreciate it and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and take care